This person is asking about increasing the dose of letrozole when we see that someone is not responding to it within the same cycle. And my answer is yes, absolutely. This is something that I do. It's called the stair step approach to ovulation induction. And I would probably guess that most reproductive endocrinology and infertility specialists do this. How this works, either someone does blood work to show that they are hormonally quiet or baseline, or we induce a period using progesterone and then you start letrozole medication at the lowest dose for five days. After that, someone would come in for blood work and an ultrasound around day 10, um, a few days after finishing the medication to see what's going on. If nothing is happening by size of follicles or by your hormone levels, then what I do is I increase right up to the next dose of letrozole, take the letrozole for five days, and then come back again a few days after that too. And you can actually do this all the way up to the 10 milligram, which is the highest dose of letrozole, um, as long as you're monitoring and showing that there hasn't been a response to the lower doses. And it's a way to get to the more effective dose faster for someone who doesn't ovulate. Then if unfortunately you don't become pregnant from that cycle, you start your next cycle at the dose that helped you ovulate. So you don't have to go through that whole thing again. This approach has been shown in studies to decrease time to successful ovulation with the same pregnancy rates and avoiding having to use progesterone for a withdrawal bleed.